aluminum must be pure. No other metals mixed in. It all starts with a round aluminum sheet called a blank. They stamp the pot size and company name on what will be the bottom of the pot. They clamp it onto a lathe, centered against what's called the chuck, a metal mold shaped like the inside of the pot they're going to spin. The lathe spins at 2,000 revolutions per minute. Guided by computer software, the spinning tool, a round wheel made of a special plastic, pushes against the chuck, stretching and shaping the aluminum blank, much the way potters stretch and shape clay against their hand on a pottery wheel. Except that metal spinning works sideways, not up and down like pottery. The machine trims off excess aluminum as it rounds the edges. The factory has no use for these very sharp metal leftovers, but it doesn't throw them out. Aluminum is difficult to mine and therefore very expensive. So scrap aluminum is sent off to be recycled into other products. After the final trim to the finished size, another trimmer moves in to take the sharpness off the edge. It's taken four minutes to spin this 32 liter pot. Now it comes off the lathe. They punch out handle holes. 